What up, Internet? Welcome to Handle It Online Instructional Cooking Show. Today's recipe, deep fried baked potato. We're gonna take a potato, we're gonna bake it, and we're gonna deep fry it, okay? Big shout out to Black Label Bacon. We got that double smoked bacon today. Black Label Bacon, we're always the new black. Shout out to Hormel for making this episode possible. These are the tools and ingredients you're gonna need to make your own deep fried baked potato. First things first, I know what song lyric you just sang, okay? I would have done the same thing if I was watching at home. I'm not gonna say which one it is, but 99% of you know which one I'm talking about. Potatoes, that's what's going down. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna take these potatoes. Careful now. I preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna take these potatoes. I'm gonna to toss them in there. In 30 minutes, I'm gonna poke them with a fork, and then I'm gonna put them back in for another 10 minutes if needed. Maybe up to 20 minutes, we'll see. I don't know. The future holds so many secrets. I can't wait to discover all of them with you. And you. All right, this bacon is gonna serve a purpose in this recipe. We're gonna make really crispy bacon, and then we're gonna blend it up to make into a puree that we're gonna use for our baked potato. The bacon that I'm using is Black Label Double Smoked Bacon. You could use whichever bacon you like. So keep that oven hot, baby, at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, because we're gonna be taking this bacon and putting it in the oven for 30 minutes straight. Why 30 minutes straight? Because daddy likes his bacon crispy, boy. No, it's because it, the bacon needs to be really crispy because it serves a purpose for this recipe. Keep an eye on your bacon. If you have a professional, have him keep an eye on your bacon because the bacon we're dealing with, we want it to be crispy, which means we're bringing it to the brink of complete destruction. Amir, how's that bacon coming along? It's going. It's going. It's coming. That, I'm, all right, next step, more bacon. So you're gonna wanna cut your bacon up into chunks. Shout out to Jeff Cohen, the actor that played Chunk in Goonies. So we got our pan over here. We got it set to pretty much maximum heat and I'm gonna drop my chunks of bacon on here. That bacon's telling us secrets, oh boy. It's whispering, I can hear it right now. It's saying shh, I'm tasty. All right, multitasking. We got our bacon over there cooking on the frying pan. Right now our potatoes are looking ready. What we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare these potatoes. So I got a professional over here, Amir, show them what a perfect potato cut would look like if they were to be making these baked potatoes at home. So ladies and gentlemen, Amir is going for the uh, canoe tactic. Now um, you don't need to cut as dangerously as he is. You could do it however you want. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna empty out your potato. You don't wanna take out too much. You still want some potato stuck to the skin of the potato, but make sure there's plenty of potato on the border on the inside of the skin. Take that potato filling, just put it in a bowl on the side. We're gonna be doing this with all of our potatoes. So this bacon's looking done right now, check it out. It's looking perfect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn that off because it's really dangerous to keep it on hot like that. Now we have our potatoes over here and we have our potato tops. We're gonna take this and we're just gonna pop it in the fridge. This is gonna help for the deep fry process later. These are all our potato guts. We got that in a bowl, and now here are all those ingredients I was telling you. Remember at the beginning of the episode, I got you hyped up about those ingredients. I was like, yo, pause the screen, dog. We're gonna make something sick. Okay, for now, you're just gonna add milk gradually to help with this. You just don't want it to be too milky. You don't want it to be uh, like a potato drink. That's another episode, okay? I promise we'll show you how to make that. When you find yourself fighting the potato a little bit, just put a little bit of milk in there. Now you're adding your bacon here. I've degreased the bacon but I did keep a little bit of grease for flavor. So now we made our delicious inside potato bacon gunk. All right, I've taken our potatoes out of the fridge and now we're gonna fill these potato canoes up with this delicious potato filling. So now we got our potato filled up with the potato filling and I've toothpick pinned the top back onto the potato. Why did I toothpick pin it? This is the chef tip because that's what's gonna hold it together when we deep fry this bad boy. But we're not deep frying yet, we still gotta make a batter. But before that, I'm gonna fill up the rest of these potatoes. Okay, we got our blender set up over here and we got all of our crispy bacon. Now here's the plan. We're gonna be taking our crispy bacon one strip at a time and blending it in here. We're gonna be blending all of our bacon into a puree, okay? That's as delicious as it sounds, a bacon puree. We're making the bacon deep fry batter right now. So first, dry powders. Now I'm gonna add the bacon puree, which is like a butter. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, you wanna mix it all up until it's really coarse. Okay, now that it's all uniform like that, we are gonna be adding our milk gradually. I ended up adding most of my milk, but whatever you think necessary to get somewhat of this consistency. 
like a pancake batter. So we put all of our oil right there into our pot and we put it on high heat. We're gonna wait for that oil to reach 330 degrees. Keep an eye on the oil. This is dangerous, boy. Now I'm putting my serious voice on. This is dangerous. You keep an eye on that oil. So now we're gonna be coating our baked potato in the bacon puree batter. So what we like to do is we like to get right into it, put the baked potato in there and roll it around. Now the safest way to put something in a deep fryer is on a slotted spoon, but if we do that with this, it's gonna stick to the spoon. So this tactic is very dangerous. There is some batter on the fingertips, so you know you're not gonna burn your fingertips, but you still have to be extremely careful because oil is dangerous. So we're gonna take this baked potato now that it's completely covered in batter, and we're gonna slowly drop it into the oil. And I don't even mean drop, I mean slowly place it. And if the oil is at 330 degrees, it's gonna start bubbling right away. Now, like I said, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on your baked potato because there's no set time for this, okay? You wanna do it until it's, you know, golden brown. Now, if you're seeing pieces floating in there, don't worry, it hasn't come apart. For some weird reason, science, um, pieces of batter will start floating to the top, but that doesn't mean your baked potato isn't coated still. All right, so we got one of our twice baked potatoes deep fried right now, that's what it looks like. I got three more bad boys over here, and normally a twice baked potato is a baked potato and then you do all that stuff that we did to it and you put it back in the oven. But we like to be innovative. We like to change the rules a little bit. We're the cooking game trailblazers. This is how we twice bake the potato. We bake it once and the second bake is actually a deep fry. Huge shout out to Hormel Black Label Bacon for sponsoring this recipe and making it happen. They also provided that double smoked bacon we used. If you followed along, then you've created for yourself a deep fried baked potato. Take a picture of it, tweet it at us, Facebook us, Epic Meal Time on everything. We'll like that, throw a favorite, maybe a retweet if it looks particularly good. Leave us a comment, we read all of them, and tune in next week because we got more recipes until the end of time. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Handle It. Big shout out to Black Label Bacon. We're always the new black for providing us with the amazing bacon we used in this recipe. And go check out blacklabelbacon.com and leave us a comment. We read every single one of them.